Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are fantastic. I certainly am because I have all these new goodies in front of me. These are fragrances that are new releases that I have in my possession. Now, I've tested some that are new releases. Some might be newer than others, but these are new releases to me. I'm sure I probably have more, but I forgot. But these are the ones I'm going to feature for now. And the first one that I literally just unboxed this morning was the newest release from Initial Fragrances. And guys, it is Narcotic Delight. This beauty here, I was dying to try. I know some of you might be like, okay, just look at the name down there. It's Narcotic Delight, okay? Oh, see, right? Because all these bottles look alike. And I know it could be... Um, I got mine from Niche Essence here in Toronto. They ship to the US as well. And yeah, you could get it from there. You could buy a sample. So they literally just got it and I got my hands on it. And I'm so, so excited. Guys, you know my initial collection is huge. I have so much from the house because to me, this house does no wrong, okay? Initial fragrances are so well blended. They're so sexy. They're so strong. They're beast mode. And my absolute favorite, <clears throat> my voice is cracking, my absolute favorite is side effects you know how much i love it and i heard this one has that vibe of side effects so i'm like oh girl give it to me this house does not release very often but when they do baby it hits different so this fragrance let me give you the notes i know you've probably seen lots of reviews but this is my two cents on this okay so this has top notes of cherry pink pepper black pepper in the mid we have some cognac that booziness we have hedione tobacco and vanilla now hedione is a natural or synthetic weird smell it has the it's like a fresh floral reminiscent of jasmine and green nuances <laughs> jasmine I, I hope it doesn't really smell like jasmine but anyways guys this fragrance right here was love at first sniff it is so so sexy now this is not that cherry that you will think cherry like all those other cherries. Mm. Guys, I could get in the opening, I get a slight greenness as from that um, Hedion, I think it could be. Oh, guys, this smells incredible. The cherry is just there. It's a slight cherry nuance. I don't get cherry, cherry, cherry. Definitely that pink pepper and the black pepper in the opening. The cognac hits. But when this settles on my skin, Kin, oh my god, it is divine. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, the dry down for me is where it's at. There's something so alluring, there's something so seductive about this fragrance. I cannot tell you. It's like what voodoo Initio puts in this. It smells incredible, and every time I, I move my hands, I could get wafts of it. And I was like, oh my god, what smells so good? It's me. It's me. Am I the drama? Yes, I am. It smells incredible. No, it's not heavy projecting, which I am sad for. It sits a little bit closer, but it lasts a long time. Oh my God, it's so sexy. It's so sexy. I love it. And when it dries down and I sniff deep, I get that tobacco. It is so divine. It is so so divine i absolutely love 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 this fragrance now i haven't seen it much places because this was just released but if you're looking to purchase this as i said niche essence sells samples and they also ship to the states so you can test this before you buy it oh my god guys it's so good initial i love it i love it i love it so this is narcotic delight and this is one that I'm so happy to have in my collection. This other one was sent to me by the brand and this is from Tomovici and this is Ange Noir. This, I spoke a lot about this. I, I did a reel, I spoke about it on another video. This has top notes of green apple and galabdanum. In the mid, we have Bulgarian rose and black velvet. In the base, we have amber, patchouli, cedar, and musk. Now you have to love patchouli to love this fragrance. The patchouli is sexy in this fragrance it is not too earthy it's just right and those fruits those floral playful notes with the the fruit to the top this fragrance it just dances in the opening those 
fruity notes just play to the top and in the bass runs that dark seductive patchouli the moss and the cedar as i explained before this fragrance the top notes never really go into the bass note it just dances in the air above a dark bed of patchouli and moss and cedar and stuff it smells beautiful but to me this smells better in the dry down I really enjoy this and I think this is very unique it's not your run-of-the-mill fragrance in the opening it smells kind of like a cologne kind of vibe but when this dries down it's gorgeous and it lasts pretty good so this is Ange Noir from Tomovici I really enjoy this if you're looking for something different check this one out this fragrance was sent to me by Kajal and this is their newest release now the scent is not a new scent but the what do you say the formula of this the formulation is different guys look how cute this is now this is an alcohol free base so I want to read what it really says because I don't want to make up stuff Lamar Caviar that's what it's called by Kajal is the first ever ethanol free fine fragrance that innovates micro caps patented perfume pulls technology which introduces unique features that will that will refine the future of fragrance in the fragrance industry brand okay i don't have my glasses on so mind you anyway whatever technology i was trying to figure it out this is what the bottle looks like the beautiful kajal bottle no it's the same scent as lamar but let me show you the texture of this i hope the camera would pick it up look it's like a creamy texture right and it feels like a lotion you rub it in and it's the same oh the ex same exact scent of Lamar guys it smells so beautiful now this one I wouldn't suggest spraying this on your clothes because it might just squirt out it's not like a shh mist because remember it's no alcohol and the spray it's more of a cream base as I say some pearl something micro release something thingamajiggers anyway it's some fancy technology that kajal has so if you're somebody who does not like alcohol in your fragrances this would be a perfect perfect one as i said it does not take away from the scent the scent is the exact scent of lamar but just it's not in with the alcohol and stuff so this one smells beautiful this one i would say you have to wear this on skin this one is not something you could spray on clothes i put it on on my skin and i rub it in and the scent lasts it smells beautiful so this is something that kajal came out with and i think it's perfect because a lot of people because of religious reasons they don't like alcohol in their fragrances although to my knowledge alcohol evaporates and it doesn't stay but you know people they have their choices and they, if they don't want to use it then this is a perfect way to smell fabulous and not be you know oh it's so good anyway moving on to another new release i spoke about this on my channel already and this is a brand new release from christian provisano and this is called out rocker guys the bottle in this is so luxurious and the bottle is green huh? i don't know if the camera is picking up the color so so beautiful this smells oh my god it's incredible incredible and when i tell you longevity on this now this has top notes of raspberry orange zest and saffron in the mid notes we have rose de mai puny and caramel and at the base we have amber crystal vanilla and moss now this is so so beautiful the saffron and this i always say the saffron and this reminds me of 540 saffron and those fruity nuance and the florals they're just dancing in the air in the base of that saffron this fragrance is so pretty it's so perfect for the warmer weather this thing will be beaming off your skin it's so pretty as I said longevity it was gorgeous even though in Canada right now it's extremely cold this stood up to the coldness and it pushed through absolutely beautiful fresh fruity floral scent with some class and sophistication this is edgy and this in the summer with that heat holy smokes I cannot wait to wear this so this is from Christian Provisano and this is Rocca brand new release it was released a while but to me it's a new release that I have in my hands okay it was released a few months ago I think or last year 
But this to me, as I know at this point, is the news release from Perfumes and Marley. And this is out here. I'm so excited. I'm so stoked to have this in my collection. Guys, this is divine. This vanilla in here is delicious. Now, this is marketed to men, but to me, this is such a feminine fragrance. This is sweet. It's vanillic. There's top notes of cinnamon. This is a cinnamon heavy fragrance. So if you don't like cinnamon, I don't think you're going to like this. The cardamom is there. There's orange blossom. You get the orange blossom and there's a lot in the opening. But to me, when this dries down, that bourbon vanilla, there's a little elemy with a little bit of resinous quality. There's praline, musk, and guyac wood. This thing smells incredible. I sampled this. I had decants of it and I was using it. And I'm so happy to report that I have a bottle in my hands. Again, I got mine from Niche Essence. I absolutely love it. This was out of stock for so long. As soon as this comes in stock, it's gone. Because this here is perfect for the colder weather. And I think this would shine through in warmer weather as well. So I cannot wait to have this. And I'm so happy I have the Big Daddy Raher. So yeah, so this is out here. Perfection. Absolutely gorgeous. Other brand new release from Emmy Cliff that I got is, and I spoke about this already too, and this is Secrets of Love. And this is O Feminine. This comes in the clear bottle. This is a Secret of Love collection. This is O Feminine. This is such a beautiful feminine fragrance. No, you have to love your orange blossom. You have to love pedigree. There's a little bit of patchouli in this. There's some sandalwood. There is um, some a musk. But to me, this is very orange blossom heavy. It is very pedigree heavy. Like I could smell all these notes individually. So if you don't like that, you might want to test this one out first. But this is such a feminine, classy fragrance. It is so beautiful. It is compliment getting and it lasts. This fragrance lasts incredibly long on me. I can smell it for hours. So this, I cannot wait when it warms up. This would be a perfect spring summer scent. And I'm so happy to have this in my collection. As I said, the most prominent note that I get, definitely that jasmine. You, you get the jasmine, but I'm okay with it here. Pedigree, orange blossom, musk. There's some patchouli. Absolutely sexy. So this one here, O Feminine from Emmy Clef, a banger of a new release, definitely. What else do I have? Brand new, off the press from Suspiro. This is their newest release and this one here. Guys, look at this. Just look at this bottle. This was supposed to come since last week, but it was stuck. FedEx had some problem and it took a week extra and I'm so mad, but I'm happy to have it in my collection. So this fragrance is called Marchino, Marchino, and this is Suspiro. This is a cherry fragrance. Let me pull up the notes. This has top notes of red cherry, almond, strawberry, apple, peach, and jasmine sandback with rose. In the mid, we have heliotrope, mimosa, orris, and vetiver. In the base, we have patchouli, sandalwood, tonka, musk, and amber with vanilla. Now this cherry, it's such a different cherry because it's not, when you hear cherry, you think that heavy syrupy cherry. To me, it's not like that. It's a very light, juicy, airy cherry. It's not heavy, ding, <laughs> dings, dense and syrupy. It's not medicinal. It's blended so beautifully with those other notes. I pick up the almond in this as well and the apples. Very crisp. These fruits that I pick up are very crisp fruits. Very fresh, very juicy. There's some patchouli and tonka bean and all that. There's some heavier base, I guess, to give it some depth and to give it the longevity. Because this lasts very long. None of Suspiro fragrances, none of them lack in longevity. They're all beast mode. I don't know what they do. I don't know. But this smells so beautiful. So if you're thinking, oh, another cherry. No, it's not. It's not just another cherry. It's not your syrupy medicinal type of cherry. This is fun. This is playful. This is juicy. This is such a beautiful take on cherry without being overly cherry. I don't think this is a very cherry dominant fragrance. There's cherry in the top notes, but those other fruits play a very important part in this as well. 
and in the mid as i said those other florals come in there's some heaviness from the patchouli and the sandalwood and the musk so it's it dances beautifully with the rest of the notes everything is blended just giving you that playful cherry fun sexy vibe so this is uh maracino from suspiro and i absolutely love it and i cannot wait all of these are mostly spring summer scents and i cannot wait to wear this so if you're thinking about getting this i would highly recommend it even though you have a bunch of cherries in your collection trust me there's none like this so yeah moving on the next one that i have is from sora dora now this was released a while ago but this was their latest release so i just got it like probably a week ago and this is jani everybody was talking about jani and I spoke about her as well. And I'm telling you, Jeanne is divine. You're looking for that gourmand? Let me put, oh God. You naturally feel that. Eat this. It opens up with baked apples. We have pastry, puff, puff pastry, cinnamon, caramel, almond, vanilla, apricot, nutty notes, peach, osmanthus, white musk, and plum. Guys, listen, this thing smells incredible. Mmm. Mmm. You get that, um, that like an apple pie. It, you could smell the cinnamon. This smells like the aroma in the air when you open the oven and you're baking that apple pie. You get the sweetness of the caramel. Even though it have all these sweet, sweet notes, it's not too sweet. Everything is in perfect proportion. That fruitiness from the apricots and the apple, there's some peach in this. But to me, the peach is not very prominent. All these notes just blend beautifully together. I get the almond a lot. I pick up a lot of almond in this. This is so delicious. It's so nutty. And while you wear this fragrance as it dries down, you literally get the smell of the texture. They did texture in this. You can smell the texture of the puff pastry. You could smell flakes. You could smell the layers. I don't know what they did, but the way they composed this fragrance, it's crazy it's seriously crazy because you definitely when you smell it you automatically think of that it makes you hungry okay if you love sweet stuff this is a sweet dude right here because it's divine if you love gourmands you are definitely going to love this i do have a discount code for this so check it out and get your coins up don't buy this full price you get 10 percent off use my code so this is jane and i love it another one from Hespa Farms, another one that you want to bite yourself or someone's going to take a bite out of you is this one and it's called Brownie Points. If you want to smell like a snack, check this one out. It's very inexpensive, but when I tell you the quality is good, the packaging is very simple. It's not no big fancy packaging, but it's the juice. Because when you spray this, you definitely smell like a nice, dark, thick, decadent brownie. There's chocolate, there's brownie, there's caramel, there's like a whole bunch of stuff. There's a boozy uh, note to this as well. This really smells decadent. Now you have to love, like it's literal brownie. So if you don't like the smell of that, you may not like this. But if you love how brownie smells, you want to smell edible, you love chocolate and all that, you would love this. I am not a chocolate fan, but I like this. I love brownie and it's delicious. And every time I smell it, it gets me hungry. Sister trying to lose some weight here has... Have me smelling this, trying to go Costco and buy that brownie that tastes so good. You know which one I'm talking about, right? <laughs> so this is brownie points. And this is nice to layer with other fragrances as well. Like if you want a little bit of chocolate in something or you feel something's lacking, like you have a nice vanilla and you want to hit it with a pop or something, this one for sure. So this is Hess Parfums and this is brownie points. Guys, I got Viva More Caramel Pop. Girl, I heard so much about this. Now this is a sister company to Navitas. And this is much cheaper. That's the box, it comes in a, in a box. How could I almost forget this? Guys, look, just like the other one, it has the notes and everything. It tells you everything about the fragrance. And this is where it lies in here. So Caramel Pop, the girlies have been going crazy about this fragrance. This is what it looks like. I like the color of the bottle. You know, brown is my color, eh? I like neutral, earthy colors, guys. Another delicious gourmand. This has top notes of Italian bergamot and caramelized popcorn accord. That it definitely has. The mid notes, we have roasted chestnuts, caramel and orchid. And in the base note, we have Madagascan vanilla, bourbon absolute, 
um, Luishan Benzoin and Vietnamese Cedarwood. When I tell you, this smells like literal caramel popcorn. Now, popcorn is a must-have snack in this house. My husband is a popcorn monster. He buys, you know, the huge bags of popcorn that like literally tall like yourself. If you know from that popcorn store, you could buy that huge party bag. He buys that in his house and everybody loves popcorn. And sometimes he buys the huge, well, most times he buys the huge bag of the caramel popcorn. Oh my God, it's so fattening, but it's so delicious. This is what it smells like. Look, when you just literally open that bag, when it's sealed and you open it with that caramel popcorn and you, you just take a whiff, that's what it smells like. It's so good. And when I tell you longevity on this fragrance is insane. You get so much bang for your buck with this. Viva Mo fragrance. This is my first one from them. I have another one. I've never tried anything from this house. But I absolutely love it. If you're a popcorn fan, like I bought House of Pop, Caramel Pop, what's it called? The popcorn one from House of Oud. That's nice, but the caramel popcorn doesn't last. If you want something that stays to the smell of caramel popcorn, this is what you need to try. When I tell you this smells good, it smells good. Good is not even a word to describe it. This is incredible. This is delicious. But you have to love popcorn and that caramelly popcorn vibe. This is absolutely stunning. And I think, I have it in this video, but this I think is the latest release from the house. Thank you so much for watching. As I said, be safe, be kind, and smell fabulous. Bye now.